Tulip Fever is a 1999 novel by British author Deborah Mogak, set in 1630s Amsterdam. The city is in the grips of tulipomania, as people everywhere are fascinated by the exotic flower. But wealthy merchant Cornelis Sandvoort only has eyes for his young wife Sophia. However, the couple's hope for an heir is dashed, and as a way to preserve their pairing forever, Cornelis commissions a portrait of them from a talented young artist named Jan Van Luce. This opens the door to a forbidden passion between the beautiful Sophia and the artist that Cornelis brought into their house. Exploring themes including deception, vanity, and complex relationships between master and servant, and the role of art in the world, Tulip Fever was critically acclaimed and adapted into a film starring Alicia Vikander, Dane DeHaan, and Christoph Waltz in the three lead roles. It was filmed in 2013 and released in 2017. Tulip Fever begins as Cornelis Sandvoort makes the decision to commission a portrait of himself and his young wife Sophia. The couple is happily married, but their many attempts to have a child have failed and Cornelis is thinking about his legacy. Cornelis hires Jan Van Loos, a young and talented painter, and he and Sophia are attracted to each other immediately. Sophia is horrified by this fact when she realizes it, because she was raised as a strict Catholic and knows that lust is a sin. However, the more time she spends with Jan, she finds herself unable to resist and the two begin an affair. As their secret trysts continue, Sophia finds herself caught in a web of lies and secrets in order to keep the truth from her husband. Complicating matters, Sophia's maid Maria has discovered the affair. Maria is pregnant out of wedlock, and blackmails Sophia to keep herself from being fired. Sophia and Maria come up with a scheme to hide Maria's pregnancy. They will pretend Sophia is pregnant and Maria will give Sophia her unwanted child when it is born. At the same time, Sophia and Jan begin to discuss running away together and hatch the idea that Sophia will fake her death in childbirth. This conspiracy has costs, such as hiring a doctor who is willing to lie to Cornelis and cover up the deception, as well as the money Sophia and Jan need to make their escape and set up a new life. To make this money, Jan and Sophia set up shop in the tulip trade. Tulips are the hottest commodity in the market in Amsterdam at the time, and Jan finds immediate success when he begins dabbling in the market. The more money he makes, however, he begins getting cocky and believes his business is foolproof. The couple eventually decides to cash in all their earnings on the most valuable strain of tulip, the Semper Augustus bulb. However, circumstances conspire to keep Jan from securing the bulb. He sends his simple-minded servant Garrett to do what should be a simple job, but Garrett botches it and returns empty-handed. Jan and Sophia have now lost everything and are unable to pay off their creditors. They also lack the money to flee the country after Maria gives birth. To complicate matters, Maria's lover Willem returns from the Navy and goes to Maria, hoping to reconcile with her. The two of them argue when he sees that she has a baby, and she tells him that it is their child. As the baby cries, Maria nurses it, not realizing that Cornelis is about to come in. When he Cornelis sees Maria nursing what he thought was his and Sophia's child, he realizes he has been deceived. Maria, under pressure, confesses the entire story of how Sophia planned to pass off Maria's child as her own and fake her death in childbirth. Cornelis looks into the evidence and finds that the couple had planned to travel to the East Indies by ship. Thinking they are still on board, he buys passage on the same ship and plans to kill Jan and reclaim Sophia as his own. He is consumed with jealousy and believes that he and Sophia can still be happy together in Batavia. Before setting sail, Cornelis signs his house over to Maria and Willem and disappears. No one in Amsterdam ever sees him again. Jan later confesses to Sophia that they are broke. She fakes her death for the second time, throwing herself into the canal. Jan believes her dead and dedicates his life to painting portraits of her and their love. However, years later and still in solitude, he passes by a convent and sees a nun that he believes to be Sophia, but he can't be sure. 
Deborah Magak is an English novelist and screenwriter, the author of 18 novels, two short story collections, two screenplays, eight teleplays, and a stage play. Her novel These Foolish Things was adapted into the popular film The Best Exotic Marigold Hotel. Widely honored, she is a member of the Order of the British Empire, as well as a Fellow of the Royal Society of Literature, and a former Chair of the Society of Authors. I hope you enjoyed this video leave a like if you did and be sure to subscribe thank you.